Welcome back to my 3 in 1 birthday special for Scott Winder, Jody Benson, and Henry Winkler. And we're going to keep the PS4 segments moving with the Amplitude. Let's see how it goes. inject some energy into your afternoon with a family feud. How you doing at home? I'm Lucky McCoy. Thanks so much for coming here to the feud. Are you ready to meet our families? So, you're going to go it alone. Please, Please welcome, welcome this, this band of players, players the, the Lee, Lee family. family. Here's, Here's how it works. works. You, you and your family, family will guess, guess the answers, answers on the board to our survey questions. questions. Whichever, Whichever team gets the highest score goes on to play fast, fast money for the chance to win 20,000 big ones. It's time to get feuding. Here we go. It's time to face the first question in the face-off. I need two people up front. We want the top four answers to this question. I'm going to ask you a question, and you need to buzz in first to answer. If you can find what's hiding behind the top slot, you get to choose if your family plays the round or gives it a pass. We took a survey. 100 people. Name something twins might share while growing up. You're up! I said clothes. Good answer. Understood. Did our survey agree? Clothes. That, my friend, is the top answer. What's it to be? Pass or play? You want to play. Are you ready? I need an answer from you. How about bedroom? Survey says, bedroom. It's on the board. Yes. Two answers are left, just two. What could be easier? How about friends? Okay, man. Let's see if that's a correct answer. Friends. The board is almost clear. Oh, yeah. One more to find. 
I would say toys. Okay, okay sure. sure. Show me Show the me answer. answer. Toys. And that and board is clear. The points go to this family. So, where are everybody's scores at? We've only played one round so far, and this game is already blowing the roof off the studio. It's time for a face-off. Who's gonna join me up here? I need someone from each family. Top four answers up on the board. Stand by your buzzers. Here we go. 100 people gave us an answer to this question. Name a musical instrument you do not blow into. You're first on the buzzer. What you got? Are you sure about that? Is it up there? Piano. You're on the board, but it's not the number one answer. Do you have an answer? Name a musical instrument you do not blow into. We have an answer. Do we have a right answer? Hard. Sorry, it's not up there. Are you gonna play or are you gonna pass? Oh, still feeling confident after that last round? I like that. Let's play. What do you think? We need another answer. Oh. Good answer. Said with confidence. Is it there? Guitar. That's tough. Time to search your mind for an answer. All right, let's try it. Let's take a look. Drums. You're doing great. Name a musical instrument you do not blow into. Got it. Time to find out if it's up there. Violin. And that, my friends, is how you clear the board. You nailed down this round. Before we move on, let's take a moment to see the current scores. Hope you all can get some points on the board next round. It's time for another face-off. Can I have someone from each family join me, please? You'll need seven answers. Time to take to the next level with double points. We asked 100 people to give us an answer to this. Name something people try to keep when they get divorced. You're in first. What you got? All righty then. The survey says, house. 
Huawei number one. So what do you say, pass or play? You want this round all to yourself, huh? What answer do you have for us this time? Okay. Is that answer good enough? Money. All right. Oh. Do you have an answer for us? Interesting answer. Do we have it? Children. Good going. Name something people try to keep when they get divorced. Here we go then. Is it on the board? Jewelry. Oh, yeah. Oh. Put on your thinking cap. It's time for an answer. Okay. Great answer. Answer accepted. Our survey said car. Excellent job. Yeah. Dig deep and think of an answer. So... Good answer. Got it. Survey said... Pets! Oh, we're so close to completion. Yay! Name something people try to keep when they get divorced. Okie dokie. Will this make a clean sweep? Let's find out. Sanity! Got it! You found all the answers! Yeah, way to stretch out that lead. It's time to find out who's won the game. And that's it! We have ourselves a winner. You've done it! All by yourself, too. Time to say so long to the leaves. Are you ready to play Fast Money? Since you're the only one here, you'll be facing the questions twice. You're going to answer five questions. Give me the best answers you can think of for them. Then we'll do it all over again a second time. If both rounds add up to 200 points, you'll get the jackpot. Ready? Start the clock. Name something that people clean for a living. People clean for a living? Teeth. No, um, how about cars? Name something you would never buy used. I would never buy a used house. No, um, furniture, maybe. You would never buy used jewelry, jewelry, jewelry. Name something you get every Valentine's Day. Uh, flowers. Name something you might think twice about getting rid of. Think twice about getting rid of my car. Name a lost item you'd hate to see sticking out of the cat's litter box. Lost item, uh, keys. That's everything. All right, let's see if you can bring this to the finish line. It's time to face those questions again, but this time we want to hear some different answers. Ready? Let's start the clock. Name something that people clean for a living. People clean houses for a living. Name something you would never buy used. Uh, clothes. Name something you get every Valentine's Day. Uh, candy. Name something you might think twice about getting rid of. 
Uh, my pets. Name a lost item you'd hate to see sticking out of the cat's litter box. Jewelry. We're all questioned out. That's all the answers you can give. Well done. How do you think you did? Let's find out. First up, we wanted you to tell us, name something that people clean for a living. This is how you answer. I think you can be pleased with those answers. Nice work. That's a top answer. Houses was the number one answer. For the next survey question, we asked, name something you would never buy used. The answers you gave. Let's see what the survey says. We've got a top Clothes answer. Clothes was the number one answer. All right. For the third question, we asked, name something you get every Valentine's Day. You said, those look like some mighty fine answers. We've got points for both of those answers. What would have been top? Card. Number four. Name something you might think twice about getting rid of. The answers to this one. I think we might be good on this one. You only need a few more points. What do you think the top answer was? Clothes. All right. And the final question? Name a lost item you'd hate to see sticking out of the cat's litter box. And here's what you said. This is for all the marbles. Oh. All right. I am a winner. What an incredible game. Let's go for another one. The $20,000 is yours. Well played, everyone. Thank you. Thanks a thousand times for playing. See you back here soon. Goodbye. Goodbye.